Hey, KP Scott, I just moved into a new apartment, and I've been looking for a new set of speakers for my home. I've been looking for something small, but good quality. Can you help me? I wish you could bring me some, somehow. Anyway, I hope you see my comment. Thanks. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, okay, face guy here. What's going on, dude? Welcome back to the channel, and today I am bringing you the unboxing and first impression of the R50Ms from Klipsch. Now these are, I believe they're a newer model. They just did a kind of a refresh of their R line. And these are the refreshed version of them. Now I got these from Best Buy, but you can also get them, of course, from their site themselves. And I think they're on Amazon too. And as of this recording, they are currently $299. I think that's 25% off of the original $399. So right now, I think for the next three days or so on their website, you can get these for $299. I think Best Buy is doing the same thing, Amazon everywhere. So right now these are $299. And these are their bookshelves. I think they're the smaller brethren's. Um, but there are a few other ones in their line. So we're going to open these up and kind of talk about them and some of the specs. So let's talk about why I have these. You guys saw the intro. Of course, Malaya has a record player and she's getting into listening to music, not necessarily critically, but more for um, the pastime or she's doing schoolwork, just to have something playing. But I also need some speakers for my desk because I actually sold my Bowers and Wilkins speakers that were on my desk. So I've been kind of auditioning different speakers over time to see what I may or may not replace them with. So let's check out what's inside the RP50 box, excuse me, the R50 inbox. So the first thing, of course, is your owner's manual and getting started. And I believe there's some warranty information in here. And then Clips always does a great job of packaging things uh, really thick styrofoam. And they're never double box. There's no need to double box these things because their foam is so thick. I'm gonna try to get one of these out really quickly without dropping it on camera. That'd be crazy. I'm gonna slide this over so you guys can see the unboxing part. So Cliff does some really cool stuff and one of them is this little cork kind of thing on the bottom, kind of like a, inside of, you know, like a corkscrew. You need a corkscrew to get the cork out of the wine bottle. The same kind of material that's on the bottom. It's kind of cool. Keeps you from damaging whatever surface it's on. And then of course, but, um, it keeps it from sliding or skidding across. So if you want to move it, it's intentional, but it's not going to slide otherwise. So if it's a vibrating or whatever, you're good to go. Now these grills, which I love, are magnetic. So there's nothing to kind of snap. There's nothing to like the pegs or whatever, they kind of snap into place, which I think every speaker should do. And they look really nice. So you get your you no know, traditional copper cone, black finish on this one, um, just a little bit of a wood and then kind of a kind of soft touch material here. It looks really good, clips reference in the middle there. And then on the back side, so these are two-way binding posts, not five-way. So you have your positive and negative here. They do accept banana plugs. And then we have our port. Now it looks like we have an option to mount these on some kind of speaker mount. So if you want to hang these on the wall and make maybe like Atmos speakers or something like that, you can actually, looks like you can hang these on a bracket. Maybe you want to use them for surround sound, which is what most people will use these for. You can put them on a mount. So that's pretty cool to see. And so let's go through some specs here. I got my cheat sheet here just on the, uh, the my phone here. And these are gonna get down to about 58 hertz. And they're actually pretty good for a small speaker. Now, I don't think it'll reach all the way that low being audible. That's pretty low for a small speaker like this, but they claim 58 hertz up to 21 kilohertz, and that's push or minus 3 dB with a sensitivity of 92 dB. We know that clips is a pretty efficient speaker, so it's not gonna take much to drive these speakers. And speaker, speaking of driving them, they handle between 75 watts up to 300 watts. Um, so any of our everyday receivers will do just fine, but of course, the more power you can give a speaker, at least within its recommendations, will always uh, give you better performance at the end of the day. And um, so that's really nice to see. So this is a single five 
and a quarter inch spun copper TCP woofer. Same thing that they've always been using in their, uh, their speaker. So a small speaker, but it should be pretty capable. And then of course you have your Tractrix horn, this one inch aluminum tweeter here. Um, this is traditional, we've seen this before. So should give us pretty decent sound in my personal opinion, just kind of the eye test. Not a big speaker either coming in at just under 14 inches tall, seven inches wide and nine inches deep, weighing just 11 pounds. So again, small speaker, put it on the desk, use it as a surround sound application. I'm not sure if this will get away of being a front stage speaker because you're going to have a lot of volume, a lot of power going to your front stage and may not be able to handle that unless you're in the bedroom or a smaller living room or home theater setup. Um, but maybe a good apartment speaker for sure. So we'll be able to test that out when I take it back to my own home and do the full review. So these are look pretty nice. Let's go ahead and get the other one out of the box just because. All right, guys, we got both speakers out and Looking at them, again, eye test, they look like they're going to be solid performers. Again, not a big speaker, so they're going to be really good for that surround sound application where I think most people are going to listen to them at. I don't think there's enough bass that's going to come out of these to be a standalone speaker, like a two-channel setup or a front stage speaker, but I think they'll be perfect as surround sound or even a small desk application if you are constantly playing video games or editing or you need better sound on your desk, like kind of like me. I think those will do really good. We'll have to see how the horn performs in near field listening. I don't know if it's going to be too much for most people's ears. You know, I don't think the stigma stands anymore, but we all know clips used to be a, kind of considered a fatiguing speaker, a harsh sounding speaker because of how bright they can be. But I don't think that stigma still stands as far as I know, but we're going to definitely find out for sure. So when I get back home, I'm going to put them on my desk to listen to near field, and I'm going to put them in my home theater application to see how they sound as surround sound or front speakers or whatever. We'll test them in every way possible so we can give you guys an overall review. Now, I have looked through some of the reviews of people who already own these, and it has like 4.9 stars out of five, and I think 400 people has reviewed them so far, at least on their website. Um, so they should be a really good speaker. We kind of know what we're going to get out of Cliff at this point. They've been around forever. We kind of know what to expect out of them, but I'm going to be as critical as possible. I'm going to say all the good things I can about it, but also give you kind of the drawbacks. But you got to remember, these things are right now $299, $399 at the most. And so we can't expect too much, but I am going to uh, kind of give you my overall thoughts on them uh, as fair as I possibly can. So... Thank you to Malaya, she's off camera, but thank you for letting me come in here and crash the home so I can make this video. And hey, maybe if they're good and I wanna keep them, maybe I'll give them to her to actually use for her record system because she actually does have a record player that she actually got from me. And of course, uh, I want her to have a good audio experience too. So maybe she can keep these if they sound good. We'll have to see what happens. But guys, leave me a, in the comment section down below and tell me if you've heard these particular speakers or anything in their lineup, what did you guys think about them? Do you think five stars out of five is a good rating for them or what should I expect? What do you guys think about these speakers in your own personal opinion? Let me know that down below in the comment section and be stay tuned for the full review that we'll have hopefully this weekend. This is Friday of the recording. Hopefully this weekend we'll have a review for you guys, maybe Sunday. So leave me a comment down below, hit that like button and subscribe if you are not already. We will see you guys in the next video. Okay, Pace Guy out. Peace. I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down